hope you're doing great. Today we are going to learn how you can set your language in the requests using Blazor Web Assembly applications. So for example, if you have already configured a Blazor Web Assembly application to um, allow your users to select the language they are going to use. The normal approach that you have used or the recommendation that it's been used is configure this set default culture, right, which is a method that um, will basically get the culture uh, using JavaScript, right, and it will set it to the um, to the thread, right, and then you will also have a um, language selector component similar to this one, this culture selector, right, which is basically just a um, as an HTML select, right, iterating to the allowed cultures, and you will have a code similar to this that will do a get for the current info culture info current culture and a set that will basically invoke the blazor culture dot set which is a javascript function which we currently have defined in the index.html is this blazor culture now before we continue please remember to share the channel uh, share the like the videos right and share them and please also invite more people so we can get more subscribers to the channel remember to subscribe you too okay so so far this actually only sets the culture in your blazor web assembly application right so if you already have um, things like um, resource files things like that for example like in the index you will do something like using the uh, i string localizer right that retrieves this from uh, a uh, <coughs> header um, field or uh, property that is in that uh, resource file right and it will it will automatically recognize the culture and gives you the um, correct string. However, this is only for your client side application. But remember that you also have, uh, or in many cases, you are also requesting information from an external API or server, right? So if you don't communicate somehow to your external APIs the language that the user has set, the most probably the most probable thing that will occur is that that API will only give you the results in the default language, right? When you don't have control of the external API, you have no way around it, right? But if you are using an application like this, which is uh, Blazor Web Assembly application with a .NET Core hosted API, we have control over the client side and the server side, right? So basically, what we want is we want the server side to also support localization based on the user or on the client selected language, right? How do we do that? So we already saw how to uh, set the culture in the Blazor Web Assembly part, but we need to do something else. We also need to configure the requests so the HTTP requests have the language they are expecting the server to return. So what you do is you create a custom class which will inherit from HTTP client handler and when you configure your HTTP client 
you will see that we are passing this custom delegating handler as a parameter to the HTTP client. So when we inject the HTTP client, uh, it will always use this custom delegate and it will execute the override overridden functionality in here. So one of the things we are doing is we get the current culture which has already been set previously in the thread, all right? And then we just clear the accept language and set the request of headers that accept language to the actual name of the culture that has been selected and then we just keep continue executing the request. So that basically what it's doing is changing the accept language in your HTTP client request. So when you go to the server, this is our server project, what you have to do is on your configure method, you will add the supported cultures. In this case, we only have English for the United States and Spanish for Costa Rica. Then you need to specify the local localization options, right? Set the default culture and add these supported culture and supported UI cultures in here, right? Then you need to invoke the use request localization passing this culture. And that's basically it. Now, the way it works, you will see that the localization options has something called request culture providers. And as you can see in the documentation, it has three defaults. It um, executes the query stream request culture provider logic, then the cookie request culture provider, and then the accept language header request culture provider, right? So since we are using the HTTP clients and we don't have anything in the query string nor on the cookies, basically we just wanted to have that in the headers. Uh, it We don't have to do anything else because the default logic or the default providers already execute in that order. And as it says, it says the first provider that returns a non-null result for a given request will be used. So in our case, we are not sending query string uh, for the language. We are not sending query, uh, cookie for the language. We are only using the accept language. So that will be the one that is not null. And then your uh, your server side culture will be automatically set to the user requested language. So that's one of the ways in which you can have your um, requests in your server having the correct culture based on the client side selected language. So when you get resources from your server side, you can return them in the actual language the client side user selected. So that's something I wanted to let you know how to do. Hopefully this is useful. Remember, please share the channel, share the videos, invite more people to subscribe and visit all the links in the video description. Thank you very much and have a great day.